Hello, my name's The Master, and this is Spectacular.net Video Review. You're looking at the Nook Color, the Barnes & Noble e-reader. And we have rooted this using an SD card program called AutoNooter 2.1, enabling the use of it as an Android tablet. As you can see, it's a really nice Android tablet, has all sorts of cool games, um, where it has the Android market built in. So you can just go on, take a look, download your favorite apps, everything that you have on your phone should be on here. On top of that, you have the nice multi-touch of the IPS screen, so you got two-point touch. If you Google here. There we are, Google. Loads really nicely. Fast, pinch zoom, so we can zoom in and out. Overall, really nice. Um, I think the tablet is perfect because of its slim design. The power button, the volume buttons are all sort of built in. It has a really good viewing angle, so you're not going to really lose much of the picture quality as you um, move it around. 5 gigs of internal memory, SD card spot up to 32 gigs. Full 3D capability, about 300 megabytes of free RAM. Good! Another one of the things I like about the Nook Color is it's very responsive to the touch of your finger. In other words, you don't have to push it all on the screen in order to be able to go left to right because of its capacitive ability in the IPS screen. The other thing I like about it is its nifty little Nook bar has been modified when you root it. So it'll add a menu button, which is in standard Android, accessing the menus in all apps. Also add the, um, keeps the standard Nook button, the back button, and your latest book button. As for gaming, this device can play Angry Birds Rio, which is a more graphic intensive Angry Birds than the other ones. Um, it plays it flawlessly, actually. It'll play Nova as well. Here you are. Now, Angry Birds Rio has like a little fan effect and a whole bunch of cool effects like that. Let's go and show you how the bird launch off goes. Fine. See, there's really not much of a problem with the um, Angry Birds Rio playing on this device. The overall hardware feel of this is also amazing. It's slim, not flexible at all, and feels like a tablet should feel when you spend this much money on it. So that pretty much wraps it up for this Spectacular.net video review. We rate this tablet a 9.5 out of 10, which is a pretty good number on our scale. Um, love it. Um, I think it's pretty good for anyone underneath $300, like we said. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at thinktacular at spectacular.net. And if you want more details, just comment, and we'll be sure to do a long extended review. We're just keeping this one short because we thought our other ones were getting a little bit too long. So anyway, have a nice day, and remember to think tecular.